Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Nolan or the Optimistic Gamer here and welcome back to our third and final water tower tutorial. The spheroid was our first one that we did. The fluted column, which is not pictured here, was the second one. And now we are going to do the third design, the multi-leg water tower. This is the most complex of the three, so it's going to take the most following along, but it really isn't that bad. In fact, the reservoir tank up at the top is simpler than the others that we have done. The materials today are super simple, andesite, andesite slabs, and andesite walls. Again, you can build this out of whatever block you choose. Of course, just make sure it has a wall variant. Alright, super simple to start. We are going to place one andesite block right here, two slabs on either side of it. Then we are going to go diagonal and make this L shape with the andesite slabs. Same thing on this side. On those corners, full blocks of andesite. And then we are just going to replicate that all the way around. So diagonal again, two andesite, a full block, two more andesite, and then that L shape with the andesite in the corner, and you get the idea. That should look like this. Now find the middle of this circle, place a block right there. And we are just going to make a plus shape. You can get rid of that middle block if you want. And we are going to repeat that pattern right here in the middle, 29 blocks up. Not this pattern right here, only in the middle. This is going to be a total of 29 blocks tall. That should be looking about like this. Now take your andesite walls and place eight andesite walls on top of each of these blocks around the bottom. And now we are basically going to repeat this pattern, except instead of having the slabs here on the bottom, they are actually going to be on the top half of these blocks. So we will start with blocks on top of all of these walls. And then we are just going to place andesite slabs on the upper half, following that same pattern as before. And now we are just going to repeat that whole step with the walls and blocks and slabs, except on the next two, it's actually going to be nine walls instead of eight. So for example, right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then a block. And then we will repeat that same pattern as before. If I can place them correctly, <laughs> just like that and we will do that two more times. So the top of the walls should line up with our center pipe and then the slabs and blocks one block above it. Now it's time to work on the tank, so take your andesite blocks and just place a three by three square on top of that pipe and then go up and out diagonal one block, extend that out one more and fill that in. Do that on all four sides. And that should look like that. Now we are just going to place one block in each of the corners here. And now we're going to do another up and diagonal. And this time we are just going to trace around the edge of that previous row. It should line up with this gap that we have in between the tank and the supports. And now we are going to do that exact same thing again, except this time we are not going to fill in the corners right here. We are just going to leave it so the blocks are just connected diagonally. So for that, it's a row of five and then two diagonals and then the row of five continues. Extend this up by one block on all of these andesite blocks that we just placed. Although this time we are going to place blocks in these corners right here, just on the outermost corners because we are now going to take our andesite walls and everywhere where we had them before on those supports, we are going to extend them up until they connect to that reservoir tank. So on these sides here, it's two andesite walls, and then on these corners here, it is three andesite walls. Do that for all these supports. So that should look about like that. Now we can work on the final outermost row, so once again, out and diagonal. And just as before, we are simply going to outline, trace the previous row, not connecting the diagonals, just leaving them as they are. 
and that should look like that. So it's a row of five and then a row of two, and then it turns two, five, and repeats all the way around. And now we are going to raise all of this up for a total of four. So that's one, two, three, four, all the way around. So that should be looking about like this. Now it's time to start working our way back towards the middle. So start with andesite blocks in these corners right here on the row that we just placed. And then we are going to go up one diagonally and fill in all the way around the edge, including those blocks in between the diagonals here. So from above, it looks like that. Now take out your andesite slabs, and we are going to do the same thing just as before, except this time we are not going to have those diagonals connected. It's just going to look like this. And now to finish it off, take your full blocks of andesite and just fill in the rest of the space here. And if you want, you can take your andesite slabs, place one in the middle, and make a plus shape like that. And that is the multi-leg water tower. I always love the shadows on these from the shaders. Always looks amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial along with the water tower saga. I'm not going to be doing a standpipe water tower because that is literally just a cylinder. And that doesn't make for a very good tutorial or video or Minecraft build if I'm being honest. So we are going to leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely hit that thumbs up button and be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on daily content as soon as I publish it. If you have any requests, you can leave those in the comments below. Also, be sure to check the description for some more important information, links, how to contact me, all of that good stuff. But with all that being said, comment, like, subscribe, remember to stay optimistic, and I will see all of you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye!